In Catholic communities across the nation, October is observed as Respect Life Month. It is a great time to learn about the protection of human life and the promotion of human dignity. This also includes the understanding of the wide spectrum of pro-life issues for Catholics to consider. These issues include Contraception It is intrinsically wrong to use artificial means to prevent new human life from coming into existence. Contraception goes against God's plan for human sexuality and compromises the dignity of both a husband and a wife. How can you help? Take a class on natural family planning. Encourage couples to learn about natural family planning before marriage and talk about the importance of the method to married couples who say they are using or considering using artificial contraception. Abortion. Since Roe v. Wade was legalized in 1973, it is estimated more than 54 million abortions have taken place in the United States. How can you help? Volunteer at a crisis pregnancy center. Collect supplies for single mothers and find other ways to help women facing a crisis pregnancy. Rights of the Disabled In 1978, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, in a pastoral statement on people with disabilities, stressed that the dignity of their lives must be protected in all aspects. Disability rights have come more into focus in recent years. Many disabled adults struggle to get needed medical treatment, and issues like assisted suicide are especially serious for them. How can you help? Ensure that people with disabilities are included in parish activities. Find ways to help parents of disabled children with basic needs. Human Trafficking The Church condemns human trafficking in all forms. Pope St. John Paul II said it constitutes a shocking offense against human dignity and a grave violation of fundamental human rights. Human trafficking is an increasing problem around the world and in the United States. The problem includes two main forms, labor trafficking and sex trafficking, where 80% of the victims are women and children. How can you help? Learn how to spot signs that a person is being trafficked. Learn the warning signs at www.traffickingresourcecenter.org. If you suspect trafficking in any form, call the National Hotline at 888-373-7888. Domestic Abuse In the analysis of homicide data made in 2015 by the Violence Policy Center, South Carolina ranked fifth in the nation for domestic violence against women. How can you help? Let an abuse victim tell you their story in their own way. You may be the first person they have told about the abuse. Ask them if they are safe and encourage them to call a local domestic violence organization to make a safety plan for them and their family. Find resources for a victim. Contact the Coalition at 803-256-2900 or www.sccadvasa.org. Access to health care. Catholic teaching and tradition affirms health care is a basic right that stems from the essential sanctity and dignity of human life. Despite changes to health care laws in recent years, it is still estimated that more than 48 million people lack health insurance and millions who live in poverty do not receive the health care they need. 
The United States Conference of Catholic Bishops has supported access to health care for all. How can you help? Contact legislators to discuss the importance of health care for all and urge them to pass legislation which improves access. Donate money or supplies to clinics or other organizations which offer health care for those in need. End of Life Care Adults and children must be provided with basic needs such as food, hydration, and basic medical care toward the end of life. Aggressive treatment that would not necessarily extend life is not required, but nothing must be done to hasten the end of life. Euthanasia and assisted suicide go against church teaching. Compassionate end-of-life care is giving way in many places to physician-assisted suicide and euthanasia. Euthanasia is now legal in the Netherlands, Belgium, Colombia, and Luxembourg. Physician-assisted suicide is now legal in five U.S. states, Japan, and Canada. How can you help? Urge state and national legislators to oppose assisted suicide and euthanasia. Advocate for loved ones or friends who are dealing with end-of-life issues and make sure that they receive food, hydration, and other essential needs. Death Penalty South Carolina is one of 30 states that still has the death penalty. Putting a person to death, no matter how severe the crime, goes against church teaching about the sanctity of life and the possibility of redemption. How can you help? Speak with state legislators about the death penalty and convey Catholic teaching on the subject. Work for restorative justice, better treatment, and rehabilitation of inmates currently in prison. Consider volunteering for prison ministry or other help for those who are incarcerated. During this month, let's celebrate the gift of life by addressing these pro-life issues and taking action in our community to support the cause of Respect Life.